what's going on beautiful jellyfish it's tracy thank you so much for hanging out i am so hyped to be filming this video on commander 2020 before we hop in if you're not following me definitely make sure to subscribe and um yeah i'm really excited to be filming this video i obviously had totally different video film today and then this stuff was announced and i was like i have to do a video talking about this i'm not gonna be doing a sort of like going through and explaining what exactly everything is if you want a sort of like if you want to know like what exactly is happening i will list the wizards of the coast article in the down bar below um this got announced i'm filming this on thursday and it's going up it might be going up today i don't actually know when this video is going up it's going up within the next couple of days and then I want to say this was announced. I heard about it yesterday, so I'm pretty sure it was yesterday on Wednesday, which is really exciting. And I, I'm really excited about a lot of this stuff. So, but yeah, like I said, I'm not really gonna be doing video like explaining like all of the things, but I wanted to kind of like give my thoughts because I, I, I just from the initial, I'm super excited about this. So let's get into it. So there's five key points that I want to talk about. The first thing is from what I'm gathering and from what I'm reading in this is that they're pretty heavily talking about reprints. And I'm really excited about that as a player because a lot of times and I, I have I have this sort of idea for another video. So I don't know how much I'll get into it here. But this idea that a lot of times wizards doesn't feel like they are able to print reprint cards because they're scared of it breaking standard. Or if you have a card that's for, for instance, legal and legacy, they don't want to print it in a regular set because then it becomes legal and modern it might break the format whatever they're really concerned and they're very very particular about what cards they choose to reprint that are new in particular and obviously when you reprint a card it may may, may might make it so that it's in other new formats that it wasn't previously and it might make the cost go down which is a really really good thing so reprints are super awesome and I think that's always been one really kind of interesting thing that has kind of lacked in a lot of times in the Commander products. And another thing that I think overall is that Commander is so huge and we, when you think about it, you only get, when you, when you really think about a Commander product, you get the Commander decks, they're like four decks and there's a hundred cards and some of them are reprints and some of them are new cards and that's just kind of it and then you're like well Tracy like when you think about it every standard set there's going to be commander cards you're totally right but I want more things like I've always wanted more things like battle bond like supplemental commander sets where they could just print a bunch of cards which is the last point that we're talking about which is the commander drafting Ooh, we're saving that one for last because that's the most exciting thing in my opinion but I think we've always kind of I felt like we've always kind of needed something else some other type of product some other type of place where wizards was able to just reprint cards and just come out with a bunch of new cards and not worry about how it's impacting anything else and I'm really excited that I think that they're really deciding to focus on this because commander is freaking huge so um moral story too long didn't read reprints yes i'm super hyped i'm i'm waiting and i'm i'm so excited that we finally have a space where this is going to be a thing the second thing that i wanted to talk about is um and i don't know if this is a thing moving forward about what exactly they're doing but within the article they're aligning the um this sort of like commander um like the commander um boxes like the new commander products they're aligning it with the new set e e Coria. I don't know if I'm saying that right. So what's really interesting about that, and so they're changing the release date. So typically Commander has been coming out in like, what, like October, September around there, but now it's actually this upcoming one's coming out in April, which is really exciting. So we don't have to wait as long for that, which is awesome. And what they're doing is they're kind of aligning it with the set there. So they're, so in the article, they're talking about how like they're, they're printing the cards that are all taking place on the plane and they're going to do reprints as well. So again, reprints, super, super exciting. And they're doing this sort of thing. And I'm viewing this as a sort of extension of the set where maybe there were cards that they were like, wow, it'd be so cool if we printed this card that totally aligns with this set, but it's going to totally break standard. So now they're able to do that in a way that's aligning it. So it's still on flavor with the plane, but they're not breaking standard and they're not impacting it. And I just think this just makes so much sense and I'm really really glad that they're deciding to go in this direction. So it's really going to be really interesting to, for us to see what exactly these commander sets look like. I'm really excited about it and how they're aligning it with the planes. Um, I am excited about that. Um, the third thing is, and this is just for Zendikar Rising, which I don't know, for I didn't even know we were going back to Zendikar. Why did I not know that? 
isn't this like the fifth time we've been back, back to Zendikar? That's what it feels like. Well, anyways, what they're doing is they're um, for Zendikar Rising specifically, they're going to be replacing the Planeswalker decks. Um, they did say that they are going to be replacing it just for Zendikar Rising, but they will be back in Core Set 2020. So it's not like they're completely doing away with Planeswalker decks. And honestly, I kind of wish they did. I think, I just think Play I have I have a lot of issues with Planeswalkers and I just think like I literally hated War of the Spark just to like paint you a picture. I, I could not stand that set. It drove me insane. I didn't go to the pre-release. That's one of like the few pre-releases I've ever missed. I just hated it so much. It's like I'm over Planeswalkers. They're, I'm so tired of them being the most overpowered card in every format. I just like the Oko thing like I don't even play those formats. I'm getting mad. I, like, I don't, I should not care, but I do because I'm like, I'm so sick of Planeswalkers. And anyways, so like, they're, they're doing this thing where they're kind of like replacing those Planeswalker decks. And I think it's really interesting because there's just so many freaking Planeswalkers and they're all overlapping. They're also similar at this point And it's just like, there's no sort of like differentiation. I kind of just wish it was back to the days where we just had a handful of Planeswalkers. I feel like it's just like, they're always a staple in the set and it drives me insane. So I'm just kind of like hoping that that's the direction they go in, but they said that they're not doing with them completely, but, um, for Zedekar Rising, they're replacing it with Commander, which is cool. The fourth thing that I wanted to talk about is the really awesome Commander Collection, which is really exciting. And basically what this is, is, oh, I'm sorry, it's Commander Collection Green. So sorry. This is a really cool supplemental product. So basically what this is, is there are eight cards. This is very similar to like the, um, to, um, I'm blanking on what those cards, like from the vault. It's a little bit similar to like from the vault type stuff. Um, similar to what were the products? They were like the Planeswalker cards that were in theme with the Planeswalker. I don't remember what those were called. There's so many supplemental products, like I can't keep up. But the one that they had for Jace, like the spell books, there you go. It's kind Kind of like one of those types of products. So basically they're starting with green, which is really awesome. And what it is, is it's eight cards all featuring new art and there's going to be two different ones. One's going to be foil and one's going to be not. I like this supplemental product and I think it's going to be really cool and really unique. Um, however, I kind of just honestly wish they were all foil. I think it's kind of silly to have some that are and some that are not. I'm not really sure, like, I guess I just don't understand what the rationale behind it is. I feel like all those other From the Vault products have been foil, so I'm kind of confused why this is a product that we're just going to make one cheaper that doesn't have foil cards. It just seems a little silly to me, but I'm really excited about this. I'm excited and I'm hoping that they, again, spot for reprints that doesn't impact standard, which I think is, like, so awesome about all of this information. So I'm really excited to see what um, what cards they decide to do, and I'm excited to see them, you know, when they come when, out with these every couple of months or so, to see the different colors and what cards they pick and, like, what cards they decide to reprint and what cards they decide to give to art. Like, I just think this is a really cool product, and I'm really excited for it. I'm not as excited about the last thing, point number five, which is Commander Legends. Oh, my God. I am so excited about this. Like, I... I feel like Wizards of the Coast had just been like crushing it. Like, honestly, Throne was such a good set. And I was like, oh my god, like how, like we're at peak. How could we get any better? And they're just like, no, 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 Commander news. And we're not just going to announce like one Commander thing. It's going to be like 10 Commander things. It's really like five. But um, just this is such a cool concept. Drafting Commander, like what? Like that is so weird, but I love it. And honestly, even if you're not going for the Drafting Commander, just the fact that there's new cards that you get to play with, and y'all, 70 new Legends. I am so excited about this because honestly, one thing that I always think has kind of been, um, I don't know if issue is the right word, but sometimes I think some of the legendary cards kind of overlap each other. I think there's like, sometimes I feel like, oh, everyone's gonna build this deck when the commander sets come out. But what I really like about this is the fact that we're getting so many legendary creatures, it's gonna be like an influx of just new decks. And I'm really, really excited about that. I think sometimes as a commander player, you can feel kind of uninspired to build decks and you can be like, I have no idea what I want to play. I have no idea what I want to build next. And Paul's kind of in that spot right now. And I think like this is the type of product for people like that who are like, listen, I have my X amount of EDH decks. I don't really know what I want to build next. Nothing else has been really appealing to me. And a lot of times I think in the past, like the issues, again, issue sounds like a kind of strong word, but like the thing with a lot of those commander sets is they have like the one legendary and they might have like two others in the deck. So you might have like three legendaries in that color scheme. And it's like, this is the deck, this is how it is. And then a lot of people would pick that up and that's just their commander. And then it's like, 
they're not, some people don't experiment with, like, other legendaries in other sets and things like that. And so I feel like it kind of makes people, like, locked into very similar types of decks. Then you have people who are just, like, playing the same deck and it's just kind of boring and there's no sort of, like, creativity. But I really like this product because I think it, it's pushing people to build just everything. Like, I, I mean, obviously there's going to be, there's going to be cards that might not be, like, as good as others and there might be cards that are not as popular. But, like, this is opening, like, so many new legendaries where there's going to be just an influx and I think people are just gonna have a ton of fun and just have the chance to play with so many new cards so I am so excited about this product like I think of all of the things like this is the thing I'm most hyped about I don't know when this is gonna be um released and the vibe I'm kind of getting is like this is something they've been working on for a really really long time and they've been really looking to perfect it um I just think it's such a unique thing and I'm really excited because we're just getting more product and it's like it's so fun because like commander is such that cool format that it's like you have free range to like play whatever your ban list is like 10 cards you know so it's like there's so much to do and I think this is just we're just getting a pool of more cards but it's like with a focus on commander now which I think is really really exciting so um overall guys I'm really excited about the all of these announcements like I said I will list this article in the down bar below if you want to read things a little bit more in depth and um let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys are most excited about any like concerns that y'all think that you have definitely leave me a comment in the down bar below subscribe if you're not already like my video that would be super helpful and that is all I have to say and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye